Hello everyone, how are you doing? Today I will show you how I made my very first charcoal drawing. It was not easy for me as I usually work with pen and ink, but I must say that for a very first time with a new art supply, I'm very satisfied with the end result. I think I will be working with it more often. This is not a tutorial, because I'm very new with this medium. I think people with experience in charcoal might cringe when they see how I work with it, but everyone has to start somewhere in a new journey. I will guide you through each step that I took to finish this drawing. So without further ado, let's get started. I didn't know where to start. I just started out by doing the outlines of the left penguin with the fine charcoal. As I am right handed and I didn't want to smear my work with the palm of my hand. In the photo reference not all details were very clear. The eyes for example, I had to figure out by myself. Normally I have some decoration in the corner to make the footage more interesting to look at, but I left it out in the working process. Charcoal is a very messy material that smears easily and I didn't want everything to get dirty. I'm making this drawing to send it as a card to a young couple. They recently got their third child. Because I don't have a fixative at home to protect the drawing from smearing, I'll scan it into the computer later on and have it printed from a digital file. After coloring a section with charcoal, I used a tortillion to rub it out. I soon switched to the charcoal pencil because the black parts of the penguin are really dark. A charcoal pencil is pressed charcoal, to which they often add something to the mix and therefore it's even darker than a regular charcoal stick. But it's also just a little less easy to erase. With blending stems and tortillions, you can blend out your applications for a smoother finish. A blending stamp is a roll of pressed paper and it's quite sturdy. A tortillion is more like a piece of paper rolled up to a point and a bit softer, and good for the finer details. If there is still some material on your blending tool, you can also use this to apply the charcoal. Instead of these blending tools, you also can use your fingers, a cotton swab or a paper towel. I soon noticed that I couldn't blend out my applications very well. It's probably the paper. I do have special charcoal paper, but it's light grey and I wanted to make the white of the penguins to stand out. So I took the Bristol paper from Hanemühle that I also use for my ink drawings, because that's what I had on hand. To soften the hard lines that I couldn't plant out properly, I went over them with a pencil eraser. A pencil eraser is very useful for precision work because you can sharpen it to a sharp point. I mainly try to focus on the values between light and dark. On the white belly of the first penguin, I really felt that this drawing was going to be a failure. I applied a light application of charcoal that was still on the blending stem and also smoothed it out with a kneading eraser. Finally I grabbed a cotton swab and it worked a bit better than the tortillion and the blending stem. But I warn you, the drawing will not be really smooth. Still, in my opinion, I managed to save the illustration reasonably well in the end. I really hope I can find some paper that's more suited for this to try this again. Charcoal is a very soft material and a pencil quickly becomes blunt. I try to sharpen the points with some sandpaper. I can still use the dust that comes off, so I leave it on a piece of paper.
on the chick, this paper works actually in my favor. I picked up some of the charcoal dust with the cotton swab and smeared it over the body. First in the darker areas with shadow and once most of the charcoal was gone, I was able to spread it out to the lighter parts of the chick. Because the applications are a bit blotchy, the baby seems extra fluffy and soft, therefore the chick turned out the best of the whole drawing. With the pencil eraser I was able to apply the lighter feathers. I was constantly going back and forth between applying, blending, erasing and reapplying. In a traditional sense of charcoal, you work more sketchy on large pieces of paper and with large movements. Yet I have also seen charcoal art that were very small and very detailed. I even seen people create photorealistic artwork with it. Now I clearly didn't go for photorealism in my drawing and I'm not very good at minimalistic and sketchy drawing, but I'm trying to find a good middle way for myself. It wasn't necessarily intentional, but in my opinion, this illustration has a bit of a painterly feel. The second penguin on the right, I did about the same as the left one, except I immediately started with the charcoal pencil instead of the fine charcoal. After that, I only had to fine tune the penguins and do the ground. Unfortunately, I lost the footage where I blended out the snow, but I did that by wrapping a paper towel around my finger and blend it out, then with a cotton swab and then the tortillion. With the kneading eraser and the pencil eraser, I was able to get some highlights back in the snow. Erasing some spots here and there on the background that were caused by my fingers and the illustration is ready. I don't have a fixative, so it's best to frame the drawing behind glass and not touch it again. Let me know what you think in the comments below and be sure to subscribe for more art and photography. Have a nice day, until next time.